Creating Site Development Symbols Symbols provide the ability to place objects in your design that may be used to identify specific features without the need to recreate these graphics each time they are used. This increases quality and speeds drawing production while allowing for consistency within and across projects. In MicroStation, symbols are known as cells and are stored in cell libraries. In this lesson, a cell library will be created and cells added to the library representing various site design objects such as a wheel stop and an accessibility symbol. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will learn place a fence, define a cell origin, create a cell library, create a cell. Let's begin by opening the site development objects DGN file. This is located in the DGN 07 working with cells folder. This file contains the geometry for site development symbols that will be used in the creation of site development cells. Here we'll start by creating a cell library. From the annotate ribbon tab in the cells ribbon group, click the dialog launcher to open the cell library dialog. From the cell library dialog, pick file new. Let's create a new cell library in the standards cell folder and name this site development. A new cell library has now been added to the site development project. Several new cells will be created, adding them to the new cell library. The first one that we'll create is a bollard cell. Now, Zoom in, locating the geometry for the bollard. From the selection ribbon group, pick Place Fence and set the following. Block as the fence type and Inside as the fence mode. Place a fence around the geometry representing the bollard. From the Annotate Ribbon tab in the Cells ribbon group, pick Define Cell Origin. Using AccuSnap, place the cell origin at the center of the bollard. In the cell library dialog, pick Create and set the following. For the name, bollard. For the description, 8-inch steel bollard. And graphic for the type, click Create. The new cell is added to the library and is available for use. Take note, graphic cells retain their original attributes with the geometry of the cell being placed with the original level, color, line style, and line weight that it was drawn with. Let's go ahead and add another cell to the library together. For our second cell, we'll be creating a catch basin. Like before, zoom in locating the geometry for the catch basin. Pick Place Fence, and then place a fence around the geometry representing the catch basin. Pick Define Cell Origin. Then using AccuSnap, place the cell origin at the center of the catch basin. In the Cell Library dialog, pick Create, and set the following. For the name, CB6. For the description, catch basin, 72 inches by 36 inches. And this will also be a graphic cell. Click create. And the catch basin is added to the library and is available for use. Now, using the same techniques, create cells for the following. Take note, use snap points as shown here for placing the cell origin. In some cases, an actual point element is present to assist in placement of the origin. 
using the same techniques, create cells for the following. You may pause the video now and when ready, push play to resume the lesson. Now let's go ahead and take a moment to review each of the newly created cells in the cell library. During this lesson, you learned how to create a cell. As a part of this process, a new cell library was created to house the cells created in this lesson. Cells for the site development project were then added to the new library. The process of creating a cell involved placing a fence to define the geometry that was to make up the cell. A cell origin was identified to provide the insertion point for when a cell is placed in a design. Care was taken to locate the origin precisely. The location of the origin point can make placing the cell easier. The cells were created, adding each of them to the new cell library, making them immediately available for use in any design file. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.